Well, now you've done it. Is this the last? Uh, maybe, I don't know. I'm getting upset because everything feels like the last level. All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Spellsons. All right, Derek was at, I don't know, Taco Bell? Last, yeah, last night at Taco Bell. You were just talking about good Our customer service. Years. Yeah, customer um, service. Last, yeah, I was going to say, I thought it was funny. Last night we were at Taco Bell after Magic because we always go there after Magic to, um, Holy shit. for tacos. Uh, Taco Tuesday is on Sunday. No. Um, Can I just and, enter uh, any of these planets at any time I feel like it? Sure, why not? What the hell is this? This feels like a final area. Planet Frostak? There's just like a man. bunch of planets. I can do them in any order I want. Mario Galaxy. Um, this feels like Mario Galaxy. All right, so this anyways, this is probably uh, the last world. So at uh, at I'm tacos, gonna guess. Um, we were uh, at, like we all get, we got in our food and like we were sitting down. We were just talking about magic as as we do. And uh, right, so one of the right uh, you are. One of the girls that was working there, like at some point, walks up and she's like, "Yeah, I was talking about EDH," and we're like, "Yeah, we are." And like, "Yeah," and she said some. I didn't understand the words she said, but she said something related to it, and we're like, "Yeah," we didn't understand what you said, but yeah. <laughs> and that was that was about it. But um, that was funny because like I would never we 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 go there like every after like every we go there every week, and like I never would have expected someone there to just be like, "Oh, you guys was talking about EDH." What's EDH? Magic or Commander? Oh. It's another term for it. I don't know what it stands for, but it's, it's other than just commander. It's another term for commander. But um, right. yeah. I, okay. I think I've heard other people talk about. It. Did I tell you about the time I saw someone wear the loot face hoodie? The what? Have you ever seen? You may not have seen it. Have you ever seen? There. I don't know who makes it. Um, but they should be. Uh, they should be shot, buried, dug up, uh, or shot again, and then reburied. Um. Shot, buried, dug up, and then reburied. No, shot, buried, uh, dug up, shot again, then reburied. Then reburied. The second shot is important. Um, okay. Yeah, it's Why? The one that matters. It's the one that matters. Um, Why? Well, because they probably weren't dead after the first one. No, like, why should they be shot, dead, buried? Oh, um, the person who made this hoodie. It's a white hoodie with a bunch of lewd anime faces on it. Like, you know, like the, like, I don't know if you've ever seen it or not, like the, like, horrible face where, like, the, like, anime, where it's, like, an anime girl with, like, her, like, eyes crossed and, like, her tongue way out and, like, her, and, like, all sweaty. It's her just a hoodie cover. It's a hood her, cover. Uh, her arm spaghetti. I'll send you a picture. Uh, there we go. Um, you say you sent me a picture? Wait, is there a wind, oh, clean curling. I'm, I'm gonna send you a picture. In a thing. That's cool. Oh, he floats in the air. That's cool. Uh, well, this is kind of it. And there's a one. I, I don't know why he sent me a picture. Like I'm gonna look at it during an episode. I'm just sending it to you for future reference. You know, I guess I'll look right. at it. Should I put it up on the screen? I don't want to. Uh, oh, you, you can decide that after. You, after I right, sent it. Yes, I will. All right, let me see what it is. Come on. Ew. Uh, yeah, there was, there, was a, there was a guy with that hoodie. Yeah, there. Zinger, put that up while I was waiting. That... And like, it's a public place. And yeah, I mean, it's I bad. Don't care. So like, I know people. So like, I know people. I know other people. Like, there's the guy that like no one likes in troop, and he's like, he has like a, he has like a, like you know, like the like red and blue image of like Barack Obama that says like hope. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, he has like one of those that says like uh, it's like a, it's like the anime girl with like that face and it says like glued or something like that. Um, and like it's it I hate seeing it, but like he's like or he and he always announces when he has it through. It's like I hate, um, but like things things like that. I like I've seen people wear them in like places like Troop or whatever, but like wearing something like that like a Taco Bell in like public, that's like I would never do that. I never wear something like that in the first place, but like even if I if if I did like. Wearing it to a public place just seems like it's rude to everybody else. It's rude to everybody. Yeah. I don't know. See, I have a shirt that's like um, it's like BoJack Horseman, Archer, Rick, um, uh, Peter Griffin, Homer Simpson, us. Uh, no, Roger. It's Roger the Alien. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm I think I'm missing one, but uh, it has all. Oh, and Bender from Futurama. Um. Okay. They're all like drunk and passed out drunk in this shirt, and I, I, I like, I love this shirt, but I always wear it outside. I feel a little bad because I'm like, ugh, 
But also, like, yeah. I, I have that shirt because I want to wear it, so, you know. I have that, I have that dilemma with a lot of with shirts sometimes, too, where I look at them like, this is, like, really nice, and I like it, but, like, I don't really want to wear it unless, like, I'm around, like, just the right crowd. Jeez. This isn't, like, an everyday shirt. Flash curling. You didn't... This, is like a, this isn't your every average day shirt. This is an advanced shirt. Oh god, I got... Uh, <laughs> I'm getting fried, guys! Help! This is why, whenever I try to get, like, uh, fandom shirts, I usually try to get ones that are, like, subtle. Subtle? So, like, my... my I think the best, my best example is probably my Team Rocket shirt. It's just a black long sleeve shirt with a red R on it. Red R on it. Interesting. So like the average person is just a black shirt with a red R. So like people who know Pokemon, they're like, oh, yeah, this is a Z-Rock shirt. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Or like or like my uh, Pokemon gym, my Cinnabar gym shirt. Right. Um, which, which, no oh, shit, I didn't even mention, I should have mentioned that during Fire Red when we did Cinnabar. The reason I have that shirt for Cin specifically for Cinnabar is because there's, uh, the Super Nerd Derek in Cinnabar Gym. Spoiler alert, because I doubt we're here yet. Oh, that's shit. fine. I really wanted that staff guy. It's not a, it's not a spoiler. I, 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 he's, that guy's always been Total there. Spoiler. Spoiler. He wasn't everything. called. He wasn't called Derek though, and the, uh, the first generation didn't have names for average trainers. Right. So. That makes sense. Back then, back then, youngster Joey was just youngster. Wow. Hard to believe, right? Yeah, there were He's a lot come of so far, he finally learned how to get a name. Wait, Youngster Joy was in the first generation, though. I don't know. Uh, He's in the second generation. I mean, and he I did have know. a name, because they had phone calls. He, well, yeah, the second gen did. I'm saying the first gen did. Yeah, he's not in the first gen. I don't know if it was or not. I don't remember. not, no. I, he's in the second do gen. Like, do I look like the kind of person who talks to Youngster Joey's? Yes! Oh. Joey Wheeler is like your favorite guy ever. He, you, because he, he relies on luck, even though, and you want to strive to be like him, but you just can't, because you can't pull off his luck. No matter how hard you try. You try so hard and you get so far, but in the end, it doesn't even matter for you. So, I play, uh, I do play, so in Magic, when I play, um, some of my favorite cards I use are ones that rely entirely on luck with my deck. So, like, there's a card called, uh, it's, I think it's called, like, Nisa's Revelation or whatever. Uh, there's, I have, there's cards, I have cards that basically make it so, like, I look at, like, the top, like, certain amount of cards of my deck, and then, like, uh, like, put them back in any order, and then, like, I reveal the top one if it's, like, a certain type, it does something. I have a horrible streak of just completely missing on them. Where, like, the odds are, like, it's... Oh, the, the, the odds it's, are it should do something, but but all five things I look at, like, or, like, if I look, like... Oh, if, it's, if, if I, like, get to like, look at the top five cards and, like, uh, like reveal one or, like, or, and do a effect or whatever, like, put it in my hand or whatever, I always miss completely. Am I? Oh, okay. I was like, what am I supposed to do there? Um, I, had to sorry. I had to happen yesterday where, um, at Magic. Uh, I was playing uh, Jake Wolfwizard, and we were playing. Um, right. He played something. He played a card that said each player ex uh, exiles top five cards of their, of their deck and they can put into play any lands exile this way so a deck is like normally no! about two yes! Sorry. deck is normally about two fifths lands um and i missed on all five um wait wait, wait what did you sad. have to do so we had to exile top five cards of our deck uh-huh um and decks are in magic generally decks are about two fifths lands um and right. i missed on all five. Oh. You didn't get a single land. Yeah, I was like super sad about it. Come on, guys. Oh. Don't, I don't want any of you dying. I kind of need you all to live. When does this end? God damn it! Seriously, when does this end? We also had there was there was we also had a really fun streak uh, in what so this was a while back, but it was, mm -hmm. we had a fun streak in one game. Uh, I don't. I just this is your fault because you brought up luck. Um, Sure. Where, uh, if that makes you feel better, it doesn't make me feel better. I was playing the... It's a heavily creature-based deck. It has probably about, like, 30, 40-esque creatures in it. And, um... Right. I play a card. The card says, look at the top five cards... Or, scry five. What scry means in magic is look at the top five cards, redact them, put them back... Or put them on top or bottom in, in any order. Um, so scry five... Oh my god. Uh, 
and then I lost the top my card. entire friends. All my friends are dead. And then reveal the top card of your deck. Uh, and then draw cards equal to like that card's power, and scratch. then gain life because of the toughness. So basically, got in order for the card to, to do anything, have to reveal a, to a creature at the top. Okay. Play a card. Look at the top five. No creatures. So, put all five on the bottom. Reveal the top card. Right. Still no creature. I'm like, all right, sadness. Next, or like, like super sad. Don't get anything. Right, bring the card back to my hand. Play again. Look at the top five. No creatures. Put them on the bottom. Reveal the top card. No creature. <laughs> <laughs> you tried so that, hard and you got so far. Was, the, In the that, end, I, it didn't even matter. That game was cursed because then someone else plays, uh, I think it's like called Chance of the Spires. Uh, when he enters, you can cast a card from an opponent's graveyard. He plays it, cast that card. Look at the top five cards of his deck. We're like he, we see like he just like has an like expression of like oh no, and we just look at him like did you did you also whiff? And he goes like I put these five on the bottom, <laughs> and then feels feels the top, no creature. <laughs> <laughs> it was just cursed. That's funny. That's about my luck. Man. Yeah, that I mean that makes sense. That's about the amount of luck I've expected from you, Derek. So, I love. Or, I enjoy playing things that are kind of like luck based because they can be stronger. They can be like really strong or like or like really weak. The problem is there's I have a horrible tendency of just whipping. Yeah, I like playing stuff that require luck because I happen to not have a bad, any problem yeah. whipping whatsoever. It, um, it, it's like I have a t see. This, you brought up before like oh you should like when Car when Cardian like was first a thing you're like oh you should like you'll probably like Cardian seems like real cool or not and I look at Cardian and I think to myself. I'm gonna Wait. whiff every single time I play Cardian. I don't want that. Cool. Every single time it's like, like look at like look, reveal the top card if it's like a Cardian, put it in your hand. If it's not, uh, put it in your graveyard. I'd be like, I just or I'd look in and think, I'm gonna whiff every single time oh, I try that. I'm not getting festival. I really I tried, have, guys. I really tried. I could, okay. I, were you even listening to me? Uh, you not. You don't want to play Cardian because you will never get a Cardian card, even though the deck is pretty much what's. It, it, it exists of entirely Cardian cards, and you losing out on one draw really means nothing. I will always hit Big Eye. <laughs> I mean, uh, it does determine if effects go off or not. Um, it yeah, that's true. It I determines mean, if it determines if effects go off, and also if like, you get to put something in your hand. So like, yeah, it does do that a little bit. A yeah, line. so like, so like my my point is like it. Whiffings can be a problem if you just always whiff. Yeah, I get. I guess. My problem is I will always whiff. Eh, I don't know about that. Uh, oh God, meteors, meteors, guy, meteor. Oh, you didn't. Have I ever? Did I tell you about playing? Did I tell you about player chaos? Probably not. Right. Player chaos is. It was a set. It's. It's the name of a set in Magic, but it's also the name of a card. And the card is an enchantment, so it stays in play when, after you play it. And what the card reads is. If, um, at the beginning of your turn, flip a coin and call it. If you call it correctly, card stays in play. Oh. It also says whenever someone plays a spell, they Damn. flip a coin. If they lose the flip, counter that spell. Basically, just like or like negate it, essentially. Okay. Oh, give me um, Bugsy. So basically, anytime you or so every rotation, there's a chance it'll go away. But if anyone ever wants to do anything, if everyone, anyone wants to try doing anything while it's in play, it's basically a 50 50 shot if they get it. Wow. I play it in something because I play it in one of my decks because it's hilarious. Well, nice. <laughs> Doesn't... Congratulations. I also, when it's in play, I refuse to ever try playing anything ever because I will not get it. Nice. I mean, that's fair. Alright, uh, and that is the end of the episode, almost. We'll do the goal game. Alright, I think that will be, I think that we can call that That's a fine. session. Yeah, I was gonna say. I'm kinda out of energy. I, yeah, I didn't have any energy to begin with, and I managed to do this. Oh, so. I remember. Last, I have the last thing I can say. Go ahead. So, uh... Next time... No, I'm just kidding. So, Next I think time I was, on... Oh, no, I'm just kidding. I thought it was funny. Um, so, uh, for, uh, the chess show this year, I'm directing. And right. uh, one of the kings is uh, Xander from Fire Emblem. Nah. And so, in the and so in the past, most most of the time, like the directors usually have some sort of a cameo throughout the show. Mm. Um, like last, like in the 18 plus chess show, one of the directors got to shoot Guy Fieri. Um, 
in the, in the Torcon show last year, one of them got to do the box Gundam. Box Gundam is very important to people. Right. Um, okay. We have a box that we have a box that says Gundam on it, and people use it um, for like a robot transformation. That's not really good. Okay. <laughs> um. So uh. Um. Understand. You know, what I get to you know I you know what my cameo is. What is it? Uh, so at the start at the start of the show, like the the way the the show goes is basically. Um, Xander and like someone else are having like a land dispute. Uh, it starts with like Xander's like in like a uh, the show start the the show com- starts with Xander like in a like lawn chair, and he's just mm-hmm. like like relaxing and enjoying the day. Uh, I come out as a uh, Felicia and bring him a drink, mm-hmm. and then I like hand it to him and he like looks at me and he just like points down points downward, and then I uh, like get on the ground and bend over to become an ottoman and he, as a, like a leg rest. Wow, it makes you horny, doesn't it? All right, next episode, bye.